Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just did the unboxing for the Apple Magic Keyboard and I did have some things to say about it, obviously, since I'm making this video. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad if the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her you see her walking down the boulevard she got the posture of a superstar she looks so fly in those gucci slides yeah yeah i wonder what she hides under her disguise yeah 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 and all the girls around the world they want to be yeah. and all the dudes are trying to something that features you'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that features the first concern that i have to say is obviously the price so it was compatible with the fourth generation ipads but still the price is, it starts at 350 for that 12.9. And the thing that is really upsetting and when you compare it to products like the Surface Pro, the model I have was a thousand, plus the keyboard, plus the Apple Pencil. So everything is just separate. When I actually held the box, I was immediately <laughs> like, this is heavier than what I thought. But at the same time, I kind of liked that it, it was heavier because just watching reviews, I didn't really know how it was gonna, you know, withhold an iPad. The fact that it appears as if the iPad is floating. So I kind of liked that it is a little bit heavier and has that weight. That's not really an issue for me. Right when I pulled it out of the box, right when I saw the actual material, I'm mean, gonna remove that plastic. My first thought was, wow, this material is gonna get dirty really quickly. I knew it was white, obviously, but it was like, the way that it just seems like something would come off not so easily. You know, I do take care of it. I'm very careful not to eat around it. And it actually has been doing okay. Careful, like look at your hands before you touch it and then you'll be fine. But it feels so good and it looks so good. The white just looks so classy. It's just a really nice looking accessory. I wish it had some kind of side where you could put your pencil on it. Let's say if you're taking it to go a lot in your backpack or something, then it leaves that open exposure to like the pencil being able to fall off. Once I attached the iPad to the Magic Keyboard and I went ahead and closed it just to see what it was like, I realized that it was really awkward to open back up. I had to like put it close to my body or put it on the table and then hold down one side so that way I can open it correctly. And I just thought that there would also be like a little tab or something, like a little like pocket where you could put your, your finger to just kind of move the screen up easier. But it does not. The Magic Keyboard doesn't have to charge by itself. So that's kind of nice that you don't have to charge it, but it does rely on the battery of the iPad. A lot of people are saying that it's draining the battery quicker. I did test it for a few days and it does seem to drain it a little bit quicker than I would have liked, which worried me because I was concerned about the fact if it would ruin the iPad battery but we'll see in time. I've also tried to ask a lot of people if it didn't and it seems to be okay, so we'll see. The other thing that I don't really like about the Magic Keyboard and what's really awkward is that it's so limiting in how far you can actually move back the iPad. So like in other cases, you would be able to, and especially the Surface Pro, you would be able to move the face of the screen all the way up so you can write down on it like a notepad or like a notebook. But with this case, it could only go back so far and there's just no flexibility. So what I end up doing is I have to have it on the keyboard propped up to do some typing. And then when I want to take longer notes, I take it off to take the notes and then I put it back on if I want to type again. It just seems kind of annoying to have that iPad case even having to be there with you and like having to also put your iPad straight down on a table. Like I feel like I'm always gonna have to put some kind of cloth underneath the iPad every time. Also with the case, <laughs> the keyboard does feel pretty good. I cannot lie about that. It's 
it felt really good and it looks really good again so typing on it was really addicting all i wanted to do was just like type things up on the ipad even though i didn't really have anything to type up and because it's just so addicting it feels so good but I did consider returning the Magic Keyboard and I still have a chance to do that. I'm still thinking about it. I just wasn't sure if it was worth it. And it is. it does feel kind of useless if you already have a computer. Another thing that I don't really, I'm not that big of a fan of is that you have to click on the keypad. I have my settings for my MacBook, so that way you just tap it. It just feels like less work, I guess. And I wasn't used to that at first, but yeah, you do have to click the keyboard. I have to check the settings later, but that's how it like comes. Also with the backlight, I've, I've heard a lot of people complain about the backlight of the keyboard, that it only really turns on in dark areas. Mine actually turns on at a pretty good time. My living room's really dark and I, I also have blackout curtains and even though there's still light coming in, the keyboard you know, like lights up and I think that's actually nice. Yes, I know it takes up more battery, but it does kind of come at a good time. So yeah, I do like that feature. I had never thought about getting like the Magic Keyboard because I just didn't think I would need it. And then when I saw the white, it was, if you're worried about it getting dirty, I just, I baby it and I wipe off every surface that I put it on. Um, also make sure that my hands are clean because I have like exploding pens for some reason. So just make sure that, you know, there's no ink on me or again, food. I just use Clorox wipes um, to clean that. And I also have screen cleaners and stuff for a laptop. So I think that that would also be something good to use. The other concern that people have is the balance of the Magic Keyboard on your lap, for example. I mean, I wouldn't really think of a lot of cases where I would be sitting down on a regular chair with my laptop. I guess maybe once school starts, but I think I'll always have some kind of desk in order to whip it out. But yeah, when it balances on my lap or when I'm sitting on the couch with my legs up, it doesn't really feel like it's gonna fall. Like the balance of it, like all the weight being on the, the top part basically, there definitely does feel like more weight on the top part, like where your iPad actually is, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And again, I'm always gonna be working at a desk. So if you also think you're going to always work at a desk, then I don't think that should be an issue either. So for the final question, is it worth it? I think, again, if you have another computer and you have your own computer, I don't really think that it's worth it, especially with the price. If you don't have anything, like if you don't have even a computer and you wanna get the iPad for note taking and the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil, I do think that if that's all you need, then great. For like someone like me or for people in my major, like a CS major, I don't really think it's even that worth it for us because you can't just like download applications like Eclipse or Visual Studio, you have to, you, you're very limited in coding too. So it depends on like the major as well, you know? No, I don't really think it's worth it. I think it's just way too overpriced. Again, I did think about returning it. It does feel incredible. It's an incredible experience. And I mean, I would highly recommend going to check it out. Like if it's out in a store or something, just so you can feel and see it. And again, the white won me over, so I can't really say that it's not, but I mean, it's tough to say. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys decided to get. It was a really hard question for me to answer because three days ago, I would have told you it was not worth it, but I just got so used to typing on it and it really is the typing experience that does it for me. I also like those like kind of like flat keyboards in the way that Apple keyboards are. So for me, it grew on me, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you decide to get it. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, I could try to answer as best as I can. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.